Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad, back again for another swipe at a beer review. This is New on the Market, it's a Brewdog collaboration and it is the, the Brewdog and Buxton collaboration and this is Deep Slumber, here it is. It's an 8.5%, <coughs> 8 it says so there. Best before on this one is the 6th of the 7th 20, I think that is, very poor be able to read that it is a rye porter um brew dog and buxton two of the my five top five favorite beers so this should be outstanding there's the lid brew dog label so let's pop a top let's see what we got nice little bit of smoke came off there when i opened it i don't know why i opened it down there not there in front of you guys um so what we get in the glass eh A bit of a hard pour, try and get. Oh, I thought I've got to get a little bit ahead. This is a not a big bit, massive. I'll, do, I'll pull the rest of that in there shortly. So, beer in, beer in the glass. Well, what beer there is in the glass, we've got two and a half, three fingers of town head, jet black beer. There might be a little bit of redness across the bottom. There isn't very tight compact bubbles across the across the head except for around here bit swiss cheesy but definitely <laughs> this side it really is got the look across the, on the top of a <coughs> cappuccino sort of mochaccino head let's see if we get some more in So it's pretty much full up. And it is full up, maybe pretty much. So let's get a nose. Let's see what we can smell. Nice roasted malt aroma coming from there. Dark, dark roasted sugar, almost in, almost stoutish. Um, toffee, caramel. Does come through. Give it a taste. Cheers. <sighs> medium carb. Medium body. It's a little bit creamy. A little bit velvety. Matches the carburetion quite well. Head's lovely. It's got a nice bit of a spice to it, um, flavour wise, chocolate, bit of, bit of roasted malt, bit of coffee, a little bit of licorice there, it does say in the description, I've, I've read it earlier on, there's, there's some apple, apple, toffee and fudge, <coughs> I get the toffee, I get the, the caramel and the fudge, don't get any apple, but I'm getting a bit of spice, a little bit of warmth, like a white peppery, this to it. Alcohol is hitting quite well. Um, again, another one of these eat drinking type bottles. You wouldn't know you drink an 8.5% beer to be fair. It's really nice. Smooth. Reminds me of some of their high end Imperial Stouts in that it's got that same sort of mouthfeel. Um, chocolatey. Coffee, the coffeeness. There's a little bit of coffee on this, but you know that type of thing. Roasted dark, roasted malt, a bit of burnt sugar in here. Um, it's all really, really good, really put together, really well put together. Um, this was given to me uh, by Frank Tyrrell. Uh, thanks, Frank. I don't know how much you pay for it, but I know this event that are available in the Blue Dog bars. I'm assuming it might be available on draft as well. Delicious, absolutely delicious. I think I drink a few of these over a Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday night. Front of a fire, cold winter's day, be great. And a little hint of licorice, which is quite nice. But mostly it's tobacco, tobacco, 
firstly it's malt, roasted malt, it's um, coffee, it's a little bit of chocolate, but it's really smooth, really smooth, it's beautiful. Nice little bit of lace on the glass, it's Brewdog and Buxton, it was always going to be for me. They would have had to have made an absolute balls of it for it to be bad. These two breweries know what they're doing, come together and make this. It's really, really good, and I hope they do more. It does say on the side here, I'll read it to you. It rests easy with this um, I can't even read it, it's that small. Right, Porter, uh, that, that packs enough flavour to tackle the Peak District. Is so the solo seven different malts rise bloody hell that is bad enough bad to read rise like an awakened giant okay to yield a spice a spice red apple toffee and fudge um, as the dream ticket of and the dream ticket of Columbus of the dream of Columbus and Cascade bring a balanced bitterness from the uh, Ridge lines of the distant the Pacific. I mean, that's really hard to read. My head shocking anyway. Um, bollocks, isn't it? Really, let's be fair. But saying that, it's not what the, the bottle's about. It's what's inside, and what's inside is fantastic. So, let me wrap this review up. Deep slumber, books and brood of collaboration. Do I like it? Yes, I do. <coughs> would I buy it again? Yes, I would. Would I recommend to friends? Yes, I would. It's excellent. It's excellent. It's a lovely, lovely example of a porter. Well, right porter is what the spice is still there. It's a lovely example of what happens when two great breweries get together and make something that, that's a little bit good. So, there you go. So, if you've had Deep Slumber, let me know what you think. Put a comment below. If you're watching for the first time, like what you see, do that. Or do that. And hit the subscribe button either way, please. And I'll see you all on the next one. Hail the ale.